go. Alrighty, welcome back to the second part of my Proxmox video. Um, in this part, we are going to be talking about um, some of the introduction things of Proxmox. Um, I will show you one thing about the storage and how to change it, and we will also dive a little bit deeper into the subscription service and how to work around it. So for starters, I will go over the storage. So as you can see over here under the storage, you have local and local LVM. So if you click on local, right here you can see that the local storage is only eight gigabytes in size. I will tell you right now, this local storage is a total of, I believe, 32 gigabytes. So eight gigabytes is not the full capacity. And I will show you how to change that to access the full capacity. So for starters, you're going to come over here to local LVM and this local LVM storage, you don't actually need it. I know this sounds a little scary, but we're actually going to remove it. So what we're going to do is you're going to click up here on data center. You're going to go to storage right here. Once under storage, you're going to click on local LVM, click that and go ahead and click on remove. Press yes. Now that that is removed, you are going to scroll, or you're going to actually click over here on the Proxmox node. Click on Proxmox. You will see the shell tab right here. Make sure you're under shell. Once under shell, um, I will show you some couple commands you will put in into the shell prompt in order to expand that storage to what it's supposed to be. So the first command we will be putting in is this command right here. So it is LV remove space forward slash dev forward slash PVE forward slash data. Go ahead and press enter there. It's going to ask you, do you really want to remove this? Just go ahead and press yes. Okay. So now that that's removed, the next command you are going to be putting in is this one right here. So this is LV resize space dash L space plus 100% free space forward slash dev forward slash PVE forward slash root. Go ahead and press enter right there. Okay. Now the last and final command you are going to be putting in is this one right here. So this is resize 2fs space forward slash dev forward slash mapper forward slash pve dash root go ahead and press enter right there all right now that that's done you can actually travel back over here to local and you can see now that local is now 29 gigabytes instead of 8 gigabytes so you can see just with those three simple commands and by removing the lvm now you have the full capacity of your drive. Okay, so now moving on to the second part where of this video where we are going to talk about the subscription service and how to update Proxmox without a subscription. So if you do decide to opt in to pay for the subscription service, you will get updates for Proxmox. Um, the one thing I have learned though is you do not need the subscription service to update Proxmox. You can actually enable the unstable updates, which I have found so far that ever since Proxmox 6.2, the unstable updates are actually really good. So I'm actually going to be going over the steps right now on how to do that. Okay, so now to do the Proxmox updates, um, I'm going to be going over how to enable the unstable updates. So you're going to travel right here to your Proxmox node and click on the shell tab right here. What's under the shell, you are actually going to travel into a particular directory. So you're going to type cd forward slash etc forward slash apt. Press enter. Okay, once you're under the etc apt directory, you're going to want to go ahead and type ls and press enter. Now the two directories we're going to be focusing on today is the sources.list and the sources.list.d. So unfortunately the sources.list is not a directory. Um, it's actually a file and sources.list.d is a directory. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to go into the sources.list 
this is where Proxmox goes into to get its updates. So in order to um, change or edit this file, you're going to want to use a text editor. You can use any one of your choice. Um, for this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and use nano. So I'm going to go nano and do sources.list. Press enter. Okay. You These two files right here, um, the two dev files at the top, you can actually go ahead and leave those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just take out this space right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and put a space in between these. So this is the line for the security updates, but in between these two and the security updates, you're actually going to want to add in a line. So the line that you are going to want to add in is this one right here. Um, I will be putting all these commands in the um, comment section below or in the description, um, just so that way it makes it easier for everyone. So you're going to want to add in these lines right here. Okay, so now this is the update line that pulls for the no subscription. So right here, you're going to just press Control X, Y to save, enter. Okay, now um, that that's updated, I want to show you what's in the sources.list.d. Um, so in order to do that, we are actually going to travel into that directory. Okay. And right here, I'm just going to do an LS to show you. So this is the PVE Enterprise list. So this is the update list that Proxmox uses if you have a subscription. So what we're actually going to want to do, which sounds kind of scary, is we're actually going to want to remove this. So we're just going to do an RM space, and then you're going to type in the what you see right above. So PVE Enterprise dot list. Go ahead and press Enter. Okay do an ls to confirm that it's been removed and you should be good so now here we're going to just type in a simple cd press enter so now you are back into the main directory which is the root directory right here you are going to go ahead and run an update so you're going to go ahead and do an apt update we're going to go ahead and string together an apt upgrade or actually we're going to go ahead and do an apt dash get upgrade and go ahead and put in a dash y at the end dash y basically just defaults in the yes prompt if you're asked um, any kind of yes or no prompts go ahead and press enter here and run the update Okay, so now that your uh, Proxmox instance is all up to date, um, so that was one instance of, or one way I should say of to be able to update the system of Proxmox. The other way is to go through all of the steps of enabling the unsecure updates and then you can actually do it through the GUI. So actually if you click on right here on Proxmox, and you scroll down right here to updates um, you can click on updates and you can actually click on refresh and it will actually refresh and run an apt get update uh, pretty much what we just went over and then after that's done you can actually click on this button right here so this is upgrade and it will actually update the process without you having to do it in the shell so this is basically just a second way of doing the update process